The vast majority of Mindstorm's enthusiasts seem to really hate the new system and still consider the EV3 to be king. However, there are actually many unseen advantages to using the new system, of which I have picked 5 and I will talk about them today. Not long ago, I put up a vote on my channel asking you which system do you consider to be the king? Spike Prime, NXT, RCX, or the EV3? With 170 votes, nearly 60% of you preferred EV3, 30% the Spike Prime system, and the rest were divided between the NXT and the RCX. Without any further ado, let me tell you why the new system is actually superior to the EV3. My first argument for the new system being superior to the EV3 is powered up compatibility. If you're just a casual Mindstorms fan and haven't really been playing much with LEGO Technic, you probably don't realize just how important of an advancement this really is. Being able to connect the powered up motors, pretty much any of them, to the new system is a huge game changer. Previously, with both the NXT and the EV3 systems, you had to connect those large bulky motors just to be able to run your robot. With the large bulky motors combined with the insane size of the EV3 intelligent brick, it meant that your robots were abnormally heavy even though they were really small. By using the new motors, it is actually much easier to integrate the new system into your LEGO Technic builds. You can finally program the new powered up system from your computer using either Scratch 3.0 or Python. These are some pretty advanced programming languages, especially Python, you can do so much with it, just endless possibilities, and this is something that you cannot do on the Powered Up app itself. The Powered Up app itself is actually kind of limiting, it's not really intuitive, and especially if you do a lot of line-by-line -line coding, uh, like in Python, the block coding interface that goes from left to right can actually be very confusing. The new Mindstorm system actually saves the Powered Up system for me. Before, I genuinely preferred power functions, and I still do because I have nostalgia with it, but now I can actually admit that just speaking technologically, the new powered up system is better than power functions. Being able to code the LEGO Technic 42114 6x6 Valve Articulated Hauler with Python is a huge novelty that never gets old. I love the powered up compatibility. Reason number two, the absolute positioning motors. These absolute positioning motors are an absolute game changer. Previously, with both the EV3 and the NXT systems, you actually had to use touch sensors to synchronize the motors and to make the legs move properly. However, now using the absolute positioning motors, with my walking humanoid robot, you can actually program it so that one motor goes to absolute position number zero and the second motor goes to absolute position 180 degrees. And from there you can start the motor pair and have your robot go forward. It is truly incredible and I absolutely love absolute positioning. It also means that you don't have to use touch sensors. Previously, the number one reason you would use touch sensors is to simply synchronize the motors. However, now, since you don't have to use touch sensors anymore and you can simply use the absolute positioning on the motors, it is much easier to create a walking humanoid robots and you don't have to use the touch sensors at all. However, if you really, really miss that touch sensor, you can actually still buy it from the LEGO Education website. This is called a force sensor, and it actually measures the amount of force that you're pressing the touch sensor, so it's not just like a button that you previously had with the previous EV3 and NXT system. So I think that this is definitely a major upgrade and absolute positioning motors and make walking robots like Jello, which use four motors, four motors, with absolute positioning, that means you can do that. If previously you had to use four touch sensors also just to make that happen, leaving zero room for ultrasonic sensors or color sensors. So this is definitely a huge advancement. Another reason why I think the new system is much better than the previous EV3 system is actually because the new hardware, both the motors and the Spike Prime hub itself, is actually much smaller than the EV3 motors and the hub, as well as the NXT motors and hub. This makes your robots much easier to build, much easier to integrate them into LEGO Technic creations and overall and overall it gives you a much better playing experience. I think this is pretty self-explanatory, so let's move on to reason number four. Reason number four, the better hub. This new hub is much better than the previous EV3 intelligent brick. With the EV3 Intelligent Brick, the screen was just a matrix screen. It wasn't even monochrome, and it wasn't even LCD or anything like that. It was like a computer monitor taken straight out of the 80s. I mean, why use outdated technology? 
But the new hub is actually kind of timeless. It uses a Tetris style screen with LED squares. Don't worry, you can still write words, you can still do all that good stuff. Each of that square is programmable, it's dimmable up to 10 light levels. And I think that this is overall a much better upgrade from just having a screen is because uh, it'll never get old. You know, as technology progresses, you get displays like 4K OLED displays. And uh, one of the arguments that I had with the EV3 is because it never adopted even an LCD color panel onto the EV3 brick. But with this system, you know, even if technology progresses to the point of having, you know, 8K displays, no one is going to complain about the new system lacking that. So this new hub has a timeless design and I really appreciate that. And the new hub also uses the micro Python operating system which is much superior to the EV3 Linux based operating system simply because it powers up much faster. The EV3 takes an embarrassingly long time to power on longer than my MacBook Pro. That is awful. The new system only takes like several seconds to power on and I really appreciate that because you know when you're building and testing your robots you can just power it on, test it, power it off, power on, test it, power off. It's very simple, very intuitive, really fast, I really like it. Reason number five, the kit itself. The new kit contains much more pieces than the previous EV3 system, more than 300 more pieces. With that also come better robots. These robots have better functionality, they look better than the previous EV3 robots, and they're much more playable. This is something that I really appreciate about the new system. For example, you get the MVP buggy. With the MVP buggy, with the MVP buggy you can also uh, connect two different modules. You can, either, you can either have the crane or you can have the turret. And there is just so much playability with the new robots. For example, Blast versus Everstorm. With Blast, both the head and the arms actually move. And it has also another motor for shooting. That is incredible. Whereas Everstorm couldn't even move his arms. And I think that the new robots are definitely much better. And I think that overall you're getting a much better playing experience with this new robotics kit. And don't worry about some of the disadvantages that you might have heard of. For example, the lack of daisy chaining support. That is actually going going to get updated really soon via a software update because the Spike Prime hardware itself supports up to four Bluetooth low energy connections. So it can have four different hubs all interacting with each other as one unit. You can actually have 24 ports both input and output instead of just having some ports be input and other ports be output. With this you can completely interchange them and maybe have like four motors and 20 different sensors. I mean, think about that. That is an insane robot. But overall, let me know down in the comments below. Do you still prefer the EV3 system or or do you actually think that the new Spike Prime system is better than the EV3 system? And be sure to check out my review of this set right over here up on the card. This is Yaron Brigme here and I'll see you in the next one.